feels stabilized. Entaro Adun. Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Vaka Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Today on Ascension, kind of a weirder map, it's going to be JYJ versus Snow. Left side, it is JYJ ASL Champ. And on the right side, it is Snow. Uh, we are speaking a lot of Korean to each other today. A lot of jabbering going on. And it's Ascension with a fidget spinner in the middle. So, spawn location, spawn location, and I feel like this is a... S oh, no, no, no. And spawn location with disappearing mineral fields so that you can't expand here early I guess we got hallucinated critters as well anyway so it's a three player map which is interesting enough but it features JYJ and snow making it extra interesting ah should be a good time here today what are we gonna see in this game well it's gonna be tanks <laughs> it's gonna be vultures it's gonna be zealots and dragoons and storm Maybe some carrier play. Maybe some Goliaths out. Who knows? You clicked on this because you're a huge fan of JYJ or a huge fan of Snow. Or you're just a big PVT fan and you're here to see what all the fuss is about in this game with these two amazing top tier players. This is an RJB replay. That's how you know it's good. Check them out. YouTube.com slash at RJB underscore TV. No one's being crazy, right? We're both getting gateway, barracks out, there's gonna be gas, there's gonna be a factory, there's gonna be a cyber core. There's gonna be all sorts of good stuff before we expand. Because as we all know, if vultures show up before you have dragoons, you kind of die. And if dragoons show up before you got any siege tanks, you kind of die. I guess you can stay alive on some level with bunkers and marines, but like... It's tough if you don't got them tanks or spider mines, I guess. Either way, gas is required. Factory tech is required. Unless you're going for a crazy bio timing attack. And doing it on somebody as good as Snow? Whew, gutsy. Gutsy. Gutsy decision. If you're going for that. Robert the Zealot hoping it out of here. Steve the SCV. Oh! It's not a loving meeting at all. Robert the Zealot, so much anger today. But yeah, Robert the Zealot merch available at falconpaladin.store and Steve the SCV merch out there as well. Yep, what I tell you? Cybercore? Oh, a factory? Whoa, knock me off my rocker here. So Robert the Zealot says, I'm not going to win this game by myself, but I'm going to put a lot of fear and protoss into JYJ here. I know Terran's been winning ASLs the last three times, but someone's got to show these guys who's boss, and Robert the Zealot, built by Snow, is going to be a part of it. Couple mer three Marines out in a position where they can hide, right? This supply depot is not here by accident. This is a hiding from Zealot position for these Marines. And Robert the Zealot says, well, all right, I've been, <laughs> been outmaneuvered. Three Marines have arrived. Second base coming up, and a second base is coming up. So, hey, two second bases at the same time. All right. The most interesting thing about TVP is generally what is the Terran player going to do when the machine shop finishes? It's pretty much equally likely to be siege mode or speed for vultures or spider mines for vultures. So we'll keep an eye on our, our eye on that. On the other side, it's a robotics facility, but only because for observers... Because if it's spider mines first and you don't have observers, you dive. So nothing too interesting can really happen from the Protoss unless you're DT rushing. Because what's the detection for JYJ right now? Nothing. He doesn't have an academy for commsat. He doesn't have an engineering bay for missile turrets. He doesn't have a starport to try to throw up some science vessels. No! DT rushes are so effective in this matchup. It's not even fair. That said, we don't see it a lot on this channel because I like to cast macro games. And... DT rushes are, by definition, not macro games. Oh, this Vulture. He's got zero kills, but he'll get one here, I guarantee. Hey, one kill. Maybe two. Yay. Three is going to be a lot to ask for, but it is controlled by JYJ. 
No, you no. Snow's not gonna let you hide down. He should have swung up behind this mineral line and gotten maybe another probe kill instead of hiding in the corner. That's my backseat gaming moment. Probably not my only one. Hey, look, an observatory. Hey, look, vulture speed. I'm trying to play like fantasy, the vulture terrorist, are we? JYJ, I'm on board. Being active with your vultures is always good. We need like a list of like nursery children rhymes and songs that we can play so that you can remember not to just sit in your base as a Terran and be like, I will get three bases, I will max out, I will win. No, do this. Be active with your vultures. Eventually it's gonna force Snow to put some cannons up in his bases, which he doesn't wanna do. He doesn't wanna do that. He wants to spend his minerals on probes and zealots and dragoons and stuff. But if your vultures are active, Got to start throwing up cannons eventually. And by that I mean, none of that is happening for Snow right now. <laughs> he is not as worried about this as I feel like he should be. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What's going on in the world? Oh, uh, what did I do? Hmm. I've been watching Justified Primeval, which is a new season of Justified, which is like one of my favorite shows from the mid-2000s. Timothy Oliphant killing it as Sheriff, well, what is it? Raylan Givens, that's his character name. I can't remember, it's something, Marshall. U.S. Marshall, Raylan Givens. Good writing, good smart writing, adapted from books by something Elmore. And they brought back a new season. I mean, 10, 10 plus years after the last one finished? Pretty insane, but really good TV, man. Anyway, the new season's okay. I don't think it really holds up necessarily to the original seasons. The writing is pretty good, not kind of up to what it was, especially towards the end of Justify, the OG run, but pretty good. It's not like a hard recommend, but if you're a Justified fan especially, give it a shot, I would say. Uh, one thing, one quick note is that they cast Timothy Oliphant's real-life daughter to play Raylan Gibbons' daughter, Willa, and she's not great. So, uh, just that's just as a warning, right? When she shows up on screen, don't expect her to be awesome. Okay, look, it's a robotic support bay, and it's a reaver drop in the future. Let's do this. Let's do this. No, don't let... Don't let the vulture terrorism be the only kind of harassment in this game. Let's go vulture's death, and let's go reaver drops. Speed on the vulture is a require or speed. Speed for the vulture is a requirement. Speed for the uh, shuttle also a requirement. You'll notice it is on the way up there in the top left. Caron boosters coming in. Double comm sat. We're gonna start hearing scans out here. Oh gosh. Ow! Taking hits! Little sloppy here, Snow. Don't be doing that. No reason to take spider mine hits when you have a range on your dragoons. And you've got your observers out. Come on! Hey, look, it is a science facility because EMP is really good. All right, what are we doing? Spanning again because you need to outspan your Terran opponent. He doesn't have... JYJ doesn't have a third base yet. So Snow's ahead in this game. It's not like he wasn't able to get a third base. He just sort of doesn't have it. Uh, Reavers? Let's go. Oh, you're worried about this instead. Oh, wow. Hey, don't get distracted by the Dragoons. Getting the dudes on gas. Nice priority targeting here from these Vultures. Look. So the Vultures, for all the damage they've done, it's 53 probes to 53 SCVs at this point. So he's really kept the three basing Protoss on a similar economy to his own, which is awesome. But he hasn't necessarily been able to bring him down to the depths of, you know... 20 probes or 30 probes, which would be really discouraging. Hmm. 
Okay, but really, man, third base. Production tab says there is a command center on the way, so it's not crazy late, I guess. Man, upgrades coming across for both players. The, the Reavers are like, we're going to harass the third base, but it doesn't exist, so we're just going to sit here sadly and look at the place where the third base should be and be really, really bummed out. Just kidding. We're going to kill some tanks. Ah, ooh, how is that one not dead? Oh, 3 HP part of this plan. I don't know. All right. Well, we're going to show up with some vultures. But guess who's got cannons up because of all the vulture harassment? That's right. Snow does. Snow's got it. I mean, this is him just getting vultures out of this contain that's been set up. And then from there, they can go where they want. And by that, I mean they can run into dragoons. Not die because they're so fast and slippery. Slowing the Dragoons down with their Spider Mines, but not really getting a whole lot of else done there. Let's pick up and get out, except for this guy. This guy does not get to evacuate. No, but seriously, okay. Nope, that's not a command center floating. JYJ, you're on two bases at 11 minutes. I appreciate you've got... Hmm. I appreciate you've got 59 SCVs, but you are oversaturating your bases like crazy. Vultures getting this position's a good one. Oh, a little bit north. A little bit north. Getting the ones on gas is so brutal. Because even a good player as good as Snow or Flash or Jadong or Bisu is, they sometimes forget to replace the workers on gas after they've died. Maybe not for the whole game, but for a few minutes. Like look, look at this. Are we replacing that gas? No. Not yet. Yeah, this. Uh, this does not look good. This looks so so bad for JYJ. His third base is late. This Reaver's been delaying it like an absolute boss for so long. Snow's like, are you really not going to defend this? And then he scouts over and sees the... Okay, there's an army here. Cool. But look at this. Four bases. Fifth base getting set up at about the 12 o'clock here. That, that spawn location that had the hallucinated mineral patches. They're gone now. You can take it. The map maker has allowed you to take this base. Arbiter's on the way. No sign of a carrier transition from Snow, but that's always an option for the Protoss. We keep that in mind every time we play against a Protoss player as a Terran, don't we? Carriers could be coming. That's why the constant scans, especially of the main base and the natural base for those tech structures. The Fleet Beacon is more likely to be shown. Can JYJ... Ooh, can he shut this entire base down? He's got an absolute... <laughs> oh, that Dragoon. Bad day. Absolute metric ton of vultures here. But the Reaver says, Hey, get off my lawn. Uh, oh, that was one of the longest scarabs I've seen. That actually connects and does damage. That was very unlucky for JYJ, but about time for the cannons to warp in and for the Nexus to come in. Yeah, look. Somebody as good as Snow here? I don't see him fumbling this advantage that he has. This is a ton of Protoss. They're working on their upgrades. I mean, two one upgrades here for the Terran versus only a one attack upgrade for the Protoss isn't great for Snow. So maybe that's something that JYJ can take advantage of. Stasis is on the way. You know how much I love Stasis. If it's used well, Stasis is great. And the, okay, so this is Snow. Snow's going to use Stasis just fine. Look at him just... <laughs> You're just sending probes through an active war zone? You're the worst parents ever. Every probe just died. He tried to sl flip through here. I guess these guys made it. But yeah, even worker count. Again, all the work that JY is doing here. JYJ is doing here. All of it has resulted in an even worker count with the Protoss. Which, you know what? That's kind of awesome, actually. Because an even income versus a Protoss when you're a Terran is... Ugh. Magnifique. It's wonderful. So you know what? I've been downplaying the effectiveness of this vulture stuff today, and I shouldn't be. JYJ has been killing probes. The worker advantage that Snow has keeps evaporating. And on even income, a mech army will destroy a Protoss gateway army. Especially, again, with two on upgrades. With 3-2 uh, coming very soon. 
That plus two attack for the gateway units is going to finish faster, but it's still a crazy good upgrade advantage here for the Terran. So, all right. Vultures for the Zealots. Tanks for everything else. I guess Goliaths for the Arbiter. Maybe a little EMP action. Science must be in careful with it. But high ground tanks, that is not somewhere you engage into. So Snow says, all right, man. He's been killing my economy. I got to do something about this. And he's going to take this 11 o'clock base. So, I mean, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six bases almost for Snow. And we're still on three. Like, I'm not... I didn't miss a fourth base. Ooh, okay, hang on. A fourth base is landing. Good snipe on that obs. Whatever killed it. I guess Goliaths. I would have to assume Goliaths there. Uh-oh. Air weapons coming in. Hold on. Hold on to your hats. That feels carrier transition-y. But he's throwing up two more gateways. Is he trying to give his Arbiters a plus one attack? What the heck? Or he's just planning on getting into carriers a little bit later and starting the plus one air upgrade now. That's entirely possible. Good concave set up here by Snow. Great EMP. No stasis for you and immediately Snow backs out. He's like, okay. Took an EMP to the face on that Arbiter. Let's get out of here. Let's send more probes through a war zone. This one went pretty well. That little field trip. More of a transfer. Field trips imply we're coming back. And, uh, no, we are not coming back. Mm, again, oh, good stasis. Trying to engage on this army before the tanks siege up. Look at these vultures trying to fight against these. Well, I guess it was one zealot, but a bunch of dragoons. Not good. Snow's doing an excellent job forcing the Terran to siege up every four inches. He was here. Now he's here. If he wants to keep going north, he's going to get sieged up here next, and then here, and then here, and he'll never make it up to the 12 o'clock before he gets wiped out. The economics will not work for him. So both players maxed out, developing banks. Stasis is going to wear off here soon. We oh, but secondary stasis. Okay. Wow. So second stasis, primary stasis still up. Still a ton of Terran down here, though, and the stasis wears off there, and an EMP on that Arbiter. Pretty good. Both of these Arbiters are out of energy, but it comes back. That's the trick. So place your bets. Place your bets here. Both players maxed out at 17 minutes. Is it JYJ? Is it Snow who will come out on top? Looking to me like Snow is ahead. Not by a ton. But I would say that he's ahead. Getting up to four bases is a pretty big deal in this matchup. The upgrades he's got too are sick. Got that three attack, two armor upgrade with the three armor coming in. Protoss has two attack, no armor upgrades, which is pretty standard. Getting a three attack, no armor first in PVT. It's just the damage of tanks is so high that having like another couple bits of armor is just like, <laughs> not enough. Never enough, not Kenoff. Good, beautiful tank setup here. That is so hard to deal with. Yeah, Snow's backing out. This group says, hey, you're blocking the path. Quick, spider mines down. Let's go kill him. Oh, no cannons! All right, but Snow says revenge. Good stasis top of that ramp. Spider mines might be trying to save the day. I like how he's keeping the SCVs away from these spider mines so they don't die. To a giant spider mine connection by accident. These vultures are going to kill a nexus. This game is bonkers right now. Okay, evacuate. Evacuate inside the drop ship. None of them. Ah! You get inside the drop ship. Save yourself, dude. The fourth base dying for JYJ is bigger than the fifth base dying from snow. Because there is still this base mining and this base mining and this mining. Okay, maybe not. For the Protoss. Beautiful stasis is. Absolutely insane stasis is. Siege is up. There's only one zealot in this group. He's got... Oh, another crazy stasis on this group I was just talking about. 
Okay, so big stasis, but can you handle it when they come out of stasis? I don't know. Dude, Vulture's killed this base. That should just not happen. Should really never happen. This is scrappy. Trying to get his fourth base back. These are units are trying to shut it down, but... Oh, splash damage did kill the SCV building it. That sucks. We're trying to group up to kill these units before... As they come out of stasis, JYJ coming and trying to save his boys, but... Ugh. Oh, look at that reposition on those tanks. Sieging up. Vultures are here for the Zealots. Tanks are like, I hope this is enough for these Dragoons. And it is. 183 to 146 supply. Protoss is up, but JYJ does a bunch of damage here. This position looks like it might just be overrun. Is he gonna... He's gotta send an SCV over. This is what... No, it's a, it's a Goliath coming over. Really need this fourth base, JYJ. If you're gonna win this game, you're down about 40 supply, 50 supply here. Holy Arbiter Fleet. And they've got plus one attack. Who does that? Did Snow accidentally get plus one attack and he wasn't intending on going carriers at all? Oh, crap. Ow. 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 Yeah. Uh, bring observers with you no matter what. Ooh, trying to get a fifth base left side here. JYJ. Reaver says no. Okay, fourth base under construction again. Sixth base for the Protoss, warping in again. What a fantastic match this one is. Yo. Ops comes in and says, if we recall in here, there are 37 spider mines and everything we have will die. But maybe we'll try it anyway. This Arbiter Fleet is so big. He's just really, really leaning heavily on stasis here. I'd say it's working for him. He's not winning every battle, but he's doing some good work. Yeah, I keep thinking some of these have to be hallucinated, right? But nope. Definitely not. Ooh, spider mines in your mineral field is scary. No matter what race you are. All it takes is like one zealot to wander up here, accidentally trigger the spider mines, and bam, all these probes are dead. But that's why you get cannons up. So the spider mines die before that happens. Yeah, man. Snow expanding to a seventh over this way. This is, this is nuts. This is nuts. Not so. I got some almonds today. Some like smoked almonds at the store. So delicious. Really, really good. Oh, see, spider mines down. No worries. Everything worked out. This reaver probably should have a bigger job than command center denial. I feel like a zealot could do that just as well. JYJ doing a pretty good job killing obs today. Oh, that's an EMP. Bam. No, too late. Just too late on the EMP. Oh, oh, spider mines killing every one of those tanks. Spider mines, the double-edged sword of Terran. This fourth base taking direct hits. Dragoons actually aren't sure what they're firing at. They're not target firing anything whatsoever. But they can handle vultures, and then oh, these zealots are like, let us at them. Let us at them. Ooh, even science vessel dies before it can flee. Okay, JYJ is in a big, a big amount of trouble. The seventh base of snow is going to die, but this fourth base dying for the second time today, and this base not coming up. Uh, this is one base mining for our Terran right now. It is nope. It's what I like to call a nope situation here. Oh, he's got this base. Doesn't have the gas from it, but hey, it's a fourth. All right, fine. Dude, the stasis on the ramp. It's so... Look at this just whoo, slipping down. Getting out of range of these tanks and then just sniping the crap out of this command center. There's a little bit of repair happening, but... Plus three... Dra Ooh! He saves it! What? JYJ, six save, man. Oh, it's the two siege tank attack. With a little vulture support this time. I like it. Guess it's going to get stasis, though. Or, just going to attack it with your plus one attack? <laughs> Dude, plus one attack arbiters is hilarious. It's very funny. 
Hey, they killed a tank. You think Snow realized it at some point? He's like, oh, I got plus one air attack. Okay. No, he must have intentionally got it. He has so many Arbiters, it makes sense to get plus one air weapons. I mean, it's enhancing a pretty garbage attack on those Arbiters, but hey. It's still an attack. It's still 10 damage. Matters to someone. 192 to 154 supply. So look at this. I still can't... Okay, this is landed. But uh, there's nothing in that shuttle. All right, fair. Another little... Oh, this is the worst probe transfer of all. What is this? Snow's been so careless with those today. All right, 11 o'clock Nexus. Gonna go down Snow. Stasising everything down on the south side of the map, though. Trying to stasis enough to where this not ginormous Dragoon army can get enough work done to actually win here. He just wanted access to this fourth command center that doesn't exist, actually. So that's kind of a waste of time. But, hey, maybe we can... Nope. <laughs> maybe we can deal with the remaining tanks. And the Dragoons are like, stop. Stop making me go in there. Please. Yeah, this is our summer home for the Protoss. He's worried about losing his main. Understandable concern. It happens a lot in PVTs for the Protoss. Look at this. Fourth base alive. Fifth base left side from JYJ. Not trying to retake the original fourth because that's terrible. You might want to start adding more Goliaths to your composition than you normally would against a non-carrier player. Because there are so many Arbiters. Wiping those out would be super advantageous. I just... I don't know. I've never seen eight Arbiters in a Protoss fleet before. Snow doing some stuff. I it was going to work. But he's trying some things. I appreciate it. Stasis, stasis. Arbiter gets out of there alive. Very nicely done. But still, the low ground tanks here. Chasing our Protoss back. Is he making more Arbiters? Dude. Snow's got a new nickname. He's the Arbiter King. Nobody makes this many Arbiters. It's, it's just not done. I've been watching Good Omens on Amazon Prime recently. Season 2 came out. The book's, like, incredible. It's Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett working together, and Good Omens is one of the greatest books ever. I recommend it. The TV show's good. I don't think it's as good. Terry Pratchett is dead, unfortunately. That's probably part of it, but... Running away. Oh! Into the spider minefield! No! Suddenly, JYJ's up 177 to 172 supply. What an incredible switcheroo this was. Oh, no. Suddenly, JYJ on a rampage, and the Arbiter's like, oh, we are support units? We're not intended to win games by ourselves ever in any situations, thank you. I mean, it's like all spellcasters. The Filers can't win games by themselves. Science Vessels can either. All right, so this little uh, outside your main base for the Protoss is dead. Trying to shut down the retaking of the fourth base by JYJ, but suddenly JYJ is way ahead. It's chasing the Protoss army into a spider minefield that JYJ has been so adept at throwing down consistently here. Dude, an EMP on these Arbiters would be good, but no. Didn't connect. Look at this Arbiter count. Look at these Goliaths chasing the Arbiters. They're like, come on, die. But no, none of the Arbiters die. All right, maybe one died. Maybe one died. Mm, little reaver drop action over here on the left side for our guy Snow. Ooh, knocking JYJ down to 31 SCVs. Had a lot of workers at this base. Workers transferring down to the reestablished fourth base. Big time engage here too. Stasis, stasis, stasis. It's like an automated voice throwing that down. Stasis, stasis, stasis. <laughs> A 
Look at this chaos here, man. The Arbiter's like, okay, most of the Dragoons are dead. Let's get out of here. He's stasising so much. Tanks, mostly. Okay, back up the Protoss, 163 to 149. Got his 11 o'clock base back. This is a fantastic match. I Almost speechless with how good this is. Another stasis comes up. Tanks can still squeeze through there, I think, though. But this defense is looking pretty good for the Protoss. Are there enough Dragoons? Are there enough cannons, potentially, to shut it down? Look at this one Goliath. He's very brave. His goal is to... Well, his goal is to kill Arbiters, but nope. Is this still here? Yes. Dude. I have not seen this many stasises in a professional game in a very, very long time. But that's what happens when you make 8 to 10 Arbiters... In a PVT, but look at this income from JYJ. 40 SCVs to 49 probes. Both players have lost a lot of workers today. It's been a bloodbath here on Ascension. All right, Siege Tanks firing up here. Dragoons jumping on it because if this Siege Tank position gets super established, it is death for this base and maybe death for Snow. So he does shut it down. He's sending some Dragoons down to the south, forcing a lift off of the... <laughs> The fourth base of snow again is in trouble. Stop me if you've heard this one. Look at these Arbiters. They're like, we can kill tanks. We have plus one attack. And then this one Goliath is like, oh, really? Dude, 158 to 99 supply all of a sudden here. Snow's been spending his cash like an absolute madman today. Oh, no. Yeah, now on the counterattack, snow. Yeah, target fire those tanks and everything else will be dealt with. Look at these Arbiters providing their damage too. 150 to 90 supply. Terran not looking particularly happy or healthy. I thought this empty shuttle's been sitting here for like 20 minutes. And JYJ does manage to rebuff the attack there. 146 to 87 supply. The last couple minutes of engagement here have been super good. For snow, just insanely good. And there's our Reaver. Uh, down under 30 workers again. And these mineral patches are the only saving grace for these SCVs. Absolutely, absolutely the saving grace here. I don't think you can get this command center. Ooh, hang on, hang on. 25 kills, yeah. You think that Reaver's been busy? Oh, I think Snow is going to come out on top here. What a fantastic back and forth match this has been, though. For all the aggression we've seen today out of our guy JYJ, he's really only killed two Nexuses. And in 30 plus minutes, it's just not enough damage, I don't think, to the economy of our guy Snow to really stop him. Yeah, man. 150 to 75 supply in favor of the Protoss. Snow is looking good. He's looking strong. Every Protoss fan who's tired of seeing Terrans win ASLs is cheering wildly right now. And I think this is it. I think this is the death knell of JYJ in this match. Too much Protoss. 40 supply. His worker count is under 20 now, and GG with the eyes from JYJ. Snow is your winner in 33 minutes. He wants to keep playing. Stop racking up more points, Snow. That's not fair. Your guy left. You can't get more kills just because he left. Boo. All right. Well, that was fun. That was a really... Wow, really, really good. PVT, I don't know if I'm going to epic tag it. I think it was a good back and forth for sure. And the fact that there were this many Arbiters is weird. But uh, I don't think it's enough to epic tag it either. Just great expanding here from Snow. Fantastic control. Didn't go carriers. One anyway. Dragoons. Three. One upgrades there. This Arbiter ball was huge. The Zealot count was nuts. Constant observer production, which was huge for scouting. And for detection all throughout, because the Spider-Man placement by JYJ was consistent and annoying as all get out. So, yeah, lost a ton of workers. Only at 48 probes at the end of the game. Shh, I mean, a lesser Protoss would have been even fewer than that by now. And yeah, look at this. Three mineral patches there and like a base here. So one and a third base of mining from Snow. 
not exactly on fire economically. I'm not going to characterize it that way. Uh, spending his money pretty well. Replacing probes as they die. Uh, going for stasis over Storm today. We see Storm a lot in this matchup from Protoss, but instead, it was the stasis. And the plus one. <laughs> oh, and plating upgrades too. Oh, look at him giving love and upgrades to his arbiters. What a lovely man. Oh, so, 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 so good. I mean, that was mm, glorious, glorious, glorious. All right. A nice stuff. That's what I like to see from Protoss, man. Getting that win against a tough Terran opponent, ASL champ JYJ. He made it happen. Bam. 274,000 points from JYJ. 308,000 for the Protoss. Snow. Got outproduced by the Terran, but outkilled the Terran pretty effectively as well. Structures raised 20 to 21, which is good. But look at this. Outspent by 21. About 20,000 resources in 33 minutes. That is. Even with all the probe deaths, that third base and fourth base were so late from JYJ, and that fourth base kept getting denied. Brutal, brutal economic aim there from JYJ and enough work from Snow to get the win. <sighs> and that's going to be it from me. This has been the Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you like what you saw and what you heard today, you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.